All right, man. Uh, Lakers bench Russ and uh, Frank Vogel gets permission from uh, the Lakers management, Jeannie and Mitch Cup check and Kurt Rambis to be able to bench ben, uh, Russ. And he benched him down the stretch. All right. And he benched him down the stretch uh, in the in Indiana Pacer loss. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, it was a bad move when they traded for Russ. And told y'all that, um, you know, whoever idea was, you know, they need the flat. Team old, you know, people could complain about Trevor Reza, they need 50. You know what I'm saying? People complain about Trevor Reza, and um, he be like, bro, I think like 50 years old or 40 something years old, bro. He old. You know, and he been playing out since high of high school, so it's a lot of mileage on that body. So that's really like a damn near 50 year old body. You know, and uh, but let's talk about it. You got the NBA talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, all my social media links description, Twitter's the best way, and Facebook and Instagram if you want to reach out. Links in the description. So apparently, Russ put up, uh, he was a negative 18, Brown's a negative 20, and he put up 14, uh, three assists. He did put up 17 shots in 27 minutes played. Let's see if we get the full effect real quick. Well, I don't know. Trying to hit the button. Oh, there you go. He had uh, four turnovers. Now, are they scapegoating Russ? I just don't think it's a good fit. And, of course, they scapegoat Russ. You know, this is what LeBron do. He, well, I remember the dude's name. He, uh, I was talking about this the other video a couple days ago when he got the, uh, David Black. He got David Black fired. That's why LeBron ain't never had no alpha coach because he don't want no alpha coach. He's a control freak. You look and he and they talking about Russ, right? Dwight Howard, you know, he ain't playing them. Who playing? Okay, the minute guys. Malik Monk, he been solid, you know, but he only put up six shots. It made two, it made and missed only two of them. Why he ain't why he just playing 28 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh Taylor Tucker, 25 minutes. He made nine of his 14 shots. All right, plus 12. You know, Stanley Johnson out there for defensive purposes. You know what I'm saying? Melo 0 for 5, so it's a lot of blame to go around, bro, before you get to Russ. But when you see the amount of money that Russ is making, I understand. But look this. You starting this old-ass starting lineup, bro. LeBron old, right? Trevor Reza old. Dwight old. Avery Bradley literally done nothing. Look at that. You And y'all and then people say, well, you know, defensively. Well, defensively, they still suck. They're like 27 in scoring defense. So defensively, that ain't the excuse. For one, the coach don't know what he's doing, right? You know, he need to play them young guys. If you got to go small, you got to go small. You need to play Monk. He need to be starting. Uh, Taylor Tucker, Horton Tucker, he need to be starting. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes need to be starting. Forget Dwight ain't doing, he ain't playing no minutes. Put Melo at the five. I know Melo ain't going to defend nothing, but at least he can post and stress. So my... My lineup, you got to start Russ. But maybe they stagger Russ. They put Russ on the bench, you know, had him come out with the bench team. But my lineup would be Russ, Monk, Horton at the three, LeBron at the four, and Carmelo at the five. Can't hurt to try. You know, and I worry about getting the boost off the bench somewhere else. But Trevor Reese is damn near 50 years old, which I expect. And he coming off an injury. 36 years old. I think he's been in the league since high school. Oh, he played college. Okay. Oh, he trying to even look young with a little crisscross twist in his head. <laughs> the Mac Daddy make it jump, jump. <laughs> the Daddy Mac can make it. <laughs> Come on, man. We ain't in 90, 93 no more, player. <laughs> but you no, know I said, man. And then you know, you got the you got the fanatics as far as the uh it's always these niggas, these guys around America that's Yankee fans and then they Laker fans and then, you know, they Cowboy fans. Man, they be having a lot to say, bro, and they be born in Miami. Or they be born in, in damn near uh, uh, Philadelphia. Or they be born, not really Philly, but they be born in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Racine, Milwaukee, Chicago, or something like that shit, man. 
I've been a t- I've been a Laker fan since I can remember. Man, get out of here! But these dudes, this is the most um, dick riding generation I ever seen, bro. I, I hate that generation that came behind us. They they just man, they just that's all they be doing, man. It's all they be doing, bro. Music sound the same. They can't play football. I mean, can't play basketball. Come on, then they be out here and had a nerd to have a platform and don't know nothing about basketball. You know, it's a lot wrong with this team. You know, and Russell Wilson, rightfully so. He is, well, we already knew what you was getting when you get Russell, Russell Westbrook, excuse me. You knew what you was getting. A guy's coming home, a lot of pressure to be home. A guy that, that was exiled from Houston and Washington got rid of him at the first year. And also, he said in Washington that, you know, winning really wasn't on the agenda. He said, I want in life. You know, so y'all knew what y'all was getting. You can't have another ball dominant guy with LeBron at all, not on the perimeter. He, you cannot have another ball dominant guy on the perimeter. It's the fact with LeBron, unless you're bringing him off the bench. Even him and Ronda Rondo, Rajon Rondo worked better than this, even though that was the bubble. Even they, they mesh better than this. You know, and they're not mentioning this was a bad fit, man. He was better off getting Buddy Hill and Bagley. Bagley would have gave you a uh, Bagley would have gave you a guy at the five who was young, could learn from Jordan, could have learned from the white. He's playing pretty good right now as long as he's healthy. And Buddy Hill would have gave you another guy catch and shoot guy. I know they felt like they got none in Monk, but you know, Buddy Hill, you could have put him and Monk in the backcourt, and that's what you needed. You just, you know, they ain't playing defense regardless. In the way Monk shooting it, Buddy Hill gonna get shots he ain't never seen around LeBron and AD. That's what it should have been. Getting old Trevor Reza, they should have been trying to get somebody younger. I mean, even Harrison Barnes would have been would have been a lot better. I said before, LeBron usually got the magic touch at, at GM, but anybody knew that. Anybody that knew anything about basketball, whoever made this deal, knew it wasn't gonna work. Even with Kyrie, it didn't work. Even though he won the championship, Kyrie wasn't happy. He tried to dip set dips. He did dip set out of there. Ow. <laughs> you was the set, dip, Santana set, set. Who you with, with? You know, he did get up out of there. So what you may think this is going to work? Somebody around LeBron who can't catch and shoot. Now, we did notice he can't even slash at a bucket and finish at the rim no more. He can't even do a layup. He don't play no defense. It was, you know, it was imagination that we thought he was a good defensive guard. Come on. He can't even hit layups, wide open layups. Could it be the pressure? Come on. Could it be? Running down on me. <laughs> you know, or, you know, or he just, he just was getting old and he whacked Arnold to begin with. It's nothing personal towards Westbrook for his, you know, his wife getting on here telling me it's personal. It's not personal. It's basketball. But, you know, as far as them benching them, I mean, down the stretch, and they still lost. <laughs> they still lost. They still lost. 111 to 104. Look what they gave up in the third quarter. 35 points to the Pacers. 35. You know what I'm saying? And the Pacers after the first quarter. They allowed 32. They I mean, they shut all that down. They didn't even get a quarter. 24, 23, 24. They didn't get a quarter. I scored the Lakers in the second. I scored the Lakers in the third. By 11 and the fourth. There you go. 111, 104. So bonus dropped 20, 10, 12. 9 for 12. 2 for 2 from 3. Cares of Vert couldn't be stopped. The 30 ball. Only missed four shots and one three-point and one free throw. Tory Craig, he was a man amongst boys. That's somebody that that's who kind of who they need. A guy like Tory Craig, 13 rebounds. Play defense. You know? So I mean, we knew it was a bad idea. If you knew basketball, you knew this was a bad idea. Everybody did. Everybody did. 
And now Russell was, you know, Russell Westbrook started to talk stupid in Washington. Talking about he really didn't care about winning or whatever the situation may, may have not been. You know, and um, and now he's showing it. You now, you know, you're saying it don't fit. You can't have two guys on the perimeter. You can't have a traditional point guard next to LeBron James. Not right now or any point in his career. That's why they got had Mo Williams, you know, somebody can catch and shoot. You need guys like a Derek Fisher, Mo Williams, you know, guys that can three and D around him. How they built around Kobe and Shaq, that's how they got to build around AD and LeBron. Good, good perimeter defenders, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, good, you know, somebody can protect the paint for AD and guys who can catch and shoot and get out there and defend. And maybe, and maybe somebody off the off the bench that can be like a Vinnie Johnson or Ginobili and get get hot off the bench and get you some buckets. Maybe, but this it don't surprise me. Them benching Russ. And then they said, "Well, he got the green light for management." So he just let you know, Frank Vogel's a figurehead. He doesn't have control. LeBron, Mitch, uh, I'm saying Mitch Kupchak, LeBron, Rob Palinka, and Jeannie, You know, tell him what to do. You think Pat Riley wouldn't have been bench Russ and sat down with Russ and worked with Russ? Even they fired Vogel, the curse is still there. You know what I'm saying? He's a figurehead, but uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. If you got to ask permission to bench somebody and they playing that bad, there you go. Channel me and be a top player for more videos like this. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Comment, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button, bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase chance to get notifications. We go live. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check my uh, Detroit channel out. More to see sports talk, more sports news. Uh, in sports and news around Detroit. Appreciate it. This more to see sports talk right on YouTube.